All right, what is up guys? Derek here from Simnet Nutrition. So if you guys like making Valentine's Day treats and you like going to the store to get the stuff to make the treats, you're gonna love this video because I'm gonna be making my girlfriend a banana pie. And I'm gonna basically, it's gonna be really simple. I think it's only gonna be three ingredients and I'm just gonna make the pie crust out of uh, pecans, crushed pecans and dates. And then I'm gonna make the, the pie filling just out of blended bananas. We both love banana ice cream. So it's really simple, three ingredient pie. I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. I'm at my new place now. This is why I haven't been posting all that much because life's been a little bit out of sorts. I've been really busy with clients and just kind of getting into the groove of things here at my new place. So I'm gonna give you guys a little mini tour of that as well after we go to the grocery store and we get some dates, some pecans, or pecans as some people call them. And I definitely have bananas. So all we need are those two things. Let's do this. We made it safely. I stay focused and only get what I need because I don't need anything else. We have lots of food at home. We're going grocery shopping tomorrow to get like a ton of fruit and greens so we don't need anything. Just dates and pecans and that's it. That's all I need. I'm not that hungry, which is a good thing. If you go grocery shopping, don't go hungry because you make bad choices. Packaged crap, like salty and sugary. Of course, when you're super hungry and you're in a grocery store, you're never thinking like, okay, I'm gonna buy this like bunch of celery and, and munch it on the way home. Uh, and if you do well, then you have more willpower than me. But I'm gonna go in there, just get the two things I need. So let's do this. Probably obligatory Valentine's Day gifts up right at the door. Ah, here we go. Organic dates. On special. Oh, these slim pickings though. Mm. So for this recipe I need like pretty soft dates. So here's some more that they have. Just their pitted ones. A couple pokes. A little too firm. These guys look good. And then a couple of, oh, those are softer. Scoop's kind of gnarly though. Those are the ones. So I know lots of you guys like me probably hate using plastic, so I bring my own bags from home and I'll just keep reusing this bag until the bottom blows out and I just bring it, use it, put my stuff in glass when I get home and use it again. All right, done good. I haven't bought anything else. I haven't even looked at anything else, really. I'm out of here, success. Number one, fat melting food. I can only imagine. Stir it into pudding or a smoothie. I bet you it's flax. Maybe chia. Let's find it. Chia. I was right. Titers and diet experts alike insist that an easy to make chia pudding can shut down appetite and rev our weight loss hormones. <laughs> Oh, that's good. All right, $40 worth of dates and pecans later. I'm leaving. I got my eye on these Buddhas. Hmm. All right, so I'm just ripping home. 
and I spent way too much money on pecans. I don't know why they were so expensive, but I got up to the cash and it was like 25 bucks for this bag I got. And I was like, I panicked and I just kind of froze. And I should have said, I don't want that many, but like we do sometimes, I just bought them all. So they'll get eaten, not a big deal, but I definitely don't think I need that much for the pie crust that I'm making tonight, but we'll find out. I actually don't even know what I'm gonna put this pie in because I don't think we have a baking dish that's like round. So it might end up being bars, we'll see. And I'm gonna show you guys my new place. Wow, that's a sick truck. Woo! All right, so here's the place. And this is where I park. Just gonna fire this stuff inside. Oh shit, cat's out, oh god. This is very bad. Oh no, Harry, come back. Oh no, he doesn't know the neighborhood and he's not allowed out. And he's my girlfriend's cat. Come on, I know. <sighs> very bad, Harry. <laughs> Look at him, he just wants to check it out. His little heart's beating so fast. He's very excited. All the new things to look at. It's so funny. You gotta go back in. All right, this is just gonna be a quick tour. Nothing too official. It's kind of like a duplex. So the people upstairs have like this part of it and over there. And then we have underneath and some around the back as well, which I'll show you guys. But very cool part about this house is if you look over here, those are like sage, rosemary, and one other herb there as well. And then that right there against the wall, that's a peach tree that apparently blossoms in the summer and provides a bunch of peaches. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, that is actually not our door there. That goes into the bedroom. So it could be our door, but we're actually using this door through there as our main sort of access point to the house. Cause it's kind of weird just like walking straight into the bedroom. So this first area you guys are gonna see is kind of what really sold me on the place. And stay there, Harry. Harry, shit. Shit, he got away again. Harry, come back, Harry. Oh my God, I'm in so much trouble if he runs away. Harry, come back. Come on. I got you. Very bad. Oh, he's very angry. You're bad, Harry, you can't just be running away. All right, so. Getting back to it. This is the part that really sold me on the place was this sort of underground covered area that they call the carport. It's a, definitely a little bit sketchy. I've got my Liebert bars here. Definitely gonna turn this into like sort of more of a workout setup. It's just got a bunch of our crap from moving right now. All sorts of stuff that we're trying to purge and get rid of. And while we're here, I'll show you guys the backyard really quickly. Kind of an out of place screen door here. It's a good amount of space around here. I think I'm gonna be making some planter boxes, like garden boxes to go there, uh, since it's kind of like the sun comes from over here, so it's kind of the only place that it gets sun. The calisthenic setup's gonna go right in the middle there, so it's gonna be pretty sweet. And then as we enter the house, oh, it's dark here, let me turn on some lights. All right, there we go, that's better. So you can see this area here is like the living area, and this is like the front hall, We've got Harry there right in the middle. Cat tree up in the corner, little chill spot there. We're obviously gonna be tweaking this and put some more stuff up on the walls and get some plants in here and whatnot, but this is how it looks now. This is like the yoga area for my girlfriend to do yoga, for me to pretend that I do yoga. And then this part's awesome, the kitchen, which I loved. Kitchen looks super nice. Of course, we got the banana tree there. So we'll come back to this because we're gonna be making the, the treats here in a minute. And then as we come down here, what we got here, I'll show you guys, let me turn the light on, but first. Ah, oh, wow, this must be the Simnet Nutrition office. Harry loves it. So here we have it. The Simnet office, my desk is a little bit messy. Still, oh, Harry, you bonked your head, are you okay? <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then I got my whiteboards on the wall there. But yeah, it's pretty sweet in here. I got my calendar on the wall, desktop computer, got my Mac there. I can put my computer on here and it's like a standing desk. Pretty stoked on it all. 
Litter box had to go in here. It's just kind of a process of elimination. I'm not that stoked on that, but that's how it goes. Here we have the bedroom, so nothing too crazy right now. There's that mysterious front door. And we've just got our purple bedspread on there with the nice elephant psychedelic design in the background. Pile of clothes in the corner, because I'm messy. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, nothing too crazy. Gonna turn some lights out here, because we care about the environment. And we're really looking forward to getting settled into this space. It's super nice. I think we're gonna be able to do a lot with it. I love this like big room, which is really nice to have. Got my bookshelf up. So it's gonna be cool to see how it evolves. But for now, we've gotta make that dessert. So let's get making it. Let's get started on this pie already. Holy crap, I've been talking about it all day and I haven't even made it. It's only three ingredients. I'm actually gonna put a fourth ingredient in it. I'm gonna make it with cinnamon in the crust because cinnamon and Valentine's Day, they seem to go hand in hand. I guess it's because of like cinnamon hearts and all that. So it's gonna be, the crust is just gonna be pecans, cinnamon and dates blended in the Vitamix. And then I'm gonna make banana ice cream. And then I'm basically gonna like line a baking dish with the crust and then put the banana ice cream on top, put it in the freezer. There we go, Valentine's Day is done. Make a nice dinner, tell her you love her. Things are all good. Face is a little dark, but my hair is a little bad, so maybe I'll do like backwards hat. I feel like I'm like 15 years old in this outfit though. All right. All right, I can't really figure out the lighting in this place, but here we go. So I'm gonna start off with the dates that I bought. I'm going to chop them up first by hand um, because that not only makes it easier for the blender to blend them up, but it also tells you if there's any pits in them. And the last thing you want, when you're having a pie like this is to find out like when you're eating it that you left a couple pits in the dates. I found one and that guy right there. So that would have been blended in and ruined it. So we can't have that, let's keep going. So you'll see here too that dates have this tiny little like hat thing on the top and that's where they connect to the branch of the tree. Um, so you definitely don't want any of those in there either because that will make it a little bit greedy. So I totally forgot that I need some sort of dish to put this in, so I'm hoping we have something. Ah, this is exactly what I was thinking. So now we just gotta get the dates into the blender. And this never makes the Vitamix very happy. Okay, so partway through I realized that it's pretty hard on the Vitamix. So I actually have a food processor on hand and I'm gonna throw all the ingredients into there because it's just this is just perfect for a food processor. So not that the Vitamix can't do it. I'm just trying to save its life a little bit. All right, so now that I've got everything in the food processor, which I probably should have been using in the first place, I'm just gonna whack the pecans right in there and just go for broke. I don't have time to mess around anymore. So, a bunch of the pecans in there. I'm gonna put the cinnamon in right away. Go for the best. Now what? Maybe those plugs don't work. Oh, you know what it needs is this thing in there. I hate all these stupid safety features. Like I'm not gonna chop my hand off. Just let me blend this stuff up. Here we go. actually kind of cool. I'm gonna show you guys what happened in here. The dates got all pressed around into this like ball. Probably pretty delicious, but I'm gonna break it up. All right, so this is what we have now. But um, 
basically, you know, it's all kind of apart right now, you can see, but you want to be able to just kind of squish it and have it hold together because that's what's going to make your crust. Oh my gosh. So good. Just those two ingredients are unbelievable. Wow. Better test it again. So good. I think it would have made it smoother if I'd blended the pecans first so that they were more of a more of like flour and then added them to the dates, but I kind of like it like this. So, all right. The next step is to make the banana ice cream. So it's, that's super easy. You guys already know how to do that, but let's do that. So just grab some frozen bananas from the freezer and basically just gonna blend all this up. So when you guys are making this banana ice cream, I don't know if you guys have ever made it before, but there's one thing that you really wanna make sure you do uh, when you're doing it. So it's just after you turn it on. So once you turn it on, you really want to make sure. And I promise you that will make you the absolute best banana ice cream. Way better than doing it the other way. See that? Got the nice swirl in there. But basically all we're going to do now is dump the crust into here. that looks get that out of there, right out of here and look at that right on the corner there I don't like that either there we go so now that that's all in there I'm just gonna press it down and to the side and just make a little crust so this is actually gonna be super thick this crust but that's how I wanted it it's kind of the best part about this That's like a pretty good looking pie crust, if you ask me. So hopefully I made enough banana ice cream to fill that. I don't think I made enough banana ice cream, so I'm gonna whip up some more and then we'll finish this. So there it is, all finished. Doesn't look very Valentine's Day-ish. Oh, I've got an idea. And pow, magic. Valentine's Day. <laughs> I think it's pretty good, not the best heart ever, but the pie looks awesome. It's gonna be so good, so I'll just whack that in the freezer. All right, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry the video was kind of scattered. I'm still kind of getting my bearings at this new space of mine. Thanks for sticking with me. Sorry it was a little while since my last post. I'm gonna try and get better at being consistent with my posts. I think I've said that almost every video. But I, I promise this time, I promise you guys. All right, well happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for checking out my place. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll be thinking about you guys when we're eating this later. Much love, peace.